Hi, I'm Don Robertson with Isle of Wight, and I wanted to take just a moment to give you a little bit of insight as to what happens with the county when there's a storm event headed our way. I've got Andrea Klontz here today to give you some insights as to the type of preparation and the operations that occur in those types of events. Hi, I'm Andrea Klontz. I'm the Emergency Management Coordinator for the county. And part of my job here is to have us prepared um, for any type of an emergency situation that may come up and to also coordinate our response to those types of situations, such as the hurricane we had, um, Hurricane Joaquin, and the nor'easter that stayed with us several days at the end of last week. You may have seen me on the county beat with Don Robertson talking about how it's important for every individual to have an emergency kit and that you should be prepared for at least three days and preferably five days of self-sufficiency during an emergency situation. And one of the things we wanted to point out to you today is that the county actually has the same concept. We need to be prepared to be as self-sufficient as we can for those three to five days that it might take to get outside help here for us. And wanted to explain a couple of the things that we did in preparation for the storm. We met several days before the impacts were expected with all of our emergency essential county departments as well as our, our emergency partners, our fire and EMS volunteer systems, our ham radio operators, the town of Smithfield, the town of Windsor, um, and several, anybody else that we may be bringing in to help us coordinate our efforts. VDOT was another partner we had activities with that pre-storm. We also spend time pre-storm making sure again that we're prepared here. We made sure that all of our generators were working and were fully gassed up, that all of our vehicles are topped off with fuel so that we don't have to worry about power outages should that become a situation that we need to deal with. We're also scheduling employees and um, we're also making preparations for our employees should they need to come in and help staff the county's emergency shelters. During hurricane season in particular, every day we're looking at the tropics and monitoring what may be out there. And we certainly did that with Joaquin. And you may have remember for a, for a day or so, it looked like it was going to be a direct impact here in Hampton Roads. But through pre-storm, during the storm, and then post, we're monitoring the actual weather conditions that may be impacting us. And then we're also responding to those those issues that do occur in the county. We were very fortunate here that the tidal flooding that we saw in the Carrollton Battery Park Rescue in Smithfield area were really the most significant impacts we had from this storm system. And then we also try to get as much information as we can out to the citizens to help you better prepare or work around the situations that we're dealing with. And then once the system has moved out, that's when the paperwork begins. And we spend quite a bit of time documenting for state agencies and for FEMA what the impacts here were. But we also, again, meet with our partners and say what went well, what can we approve on to better prepare our emergency kit for the next storm system that might hit us. We hope that the information that Andrea just shared with you is helpful and gives you some insights into what the county does in preparation prior to a storm as well as our response during a storm event. We hope that you'll take that information and use it as you prepare to develop a kit and a plan for your own family. We'll see you next time with Isle of Wight County.